Morning all, hope you're very well. Today we are going to finish off some sockets, etc. in a little project we've been doing. But first we're going to go and get James. After that, we're going to nip to Rexal. We've done a click and collect, one hour service. So I know when I get there, the guys will have the stuff ready for us. They've got 350,000 products online. Also, if you set up an online account, there's plenty of plenty of benefits. And also, you can make use of this here. So get on the App Store, download the app, and any links will be in the description below. Let's go! Morning, James. How are you? Great. All good? Yeah. Socks, any good? We, we get, we're getting moaned at that we're not showing the socks. Oh, so there's some real fetish sock people out there. I don't know yeah. why. Uh, we're going to nip to Rexal now and pick up some cable, prismium cable. All right. Morning. How are you, sir? Marvellous you. Hey, good mate, you. Thank you. How are you, mate? You alright? Got a click and collect. Click and collect. Let me drive right back for you. Thank you, mate. Cheers. It's just uh, me, old mate. Thank you, mate. Any reference on that? Yeah. Got some Oh, the good stuff. Look at that. You boys must be firing through that. Smashing it, mate. There you go. Look at that. You guys a lovely little coffee whilst you're here. Should have one, James? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Please, mate, yeah. Use the hospitality, eh? Superb. Mm. Very good. Very good, very nice, James. Should we start putting that in the van then, mate? Yeah? Top man. Beautiful. Oh, so good, James. You're so good. Don't show the van. <laughs> We're working in there. There's two flats and a shop going to be built there they've got the rows closed because they're doing the water into the flats they've done the electric for us apparently so we're going to go and look at the new meters uh, the new intake supplies and go and have a look what they've done for us first there's our two new supplies up to two flats 60 mil free core we've got two single phase intakes here and then we've got a three phase here which is going to be for the shop um, we're just waiting to see what they do with the meters now whether we've got to put a new box here for some switch fuses and we'll have to run some cables out of the meters within three meters into our new switch fuses to feed the flats right we're back from rexal we got our click and collect um bring that mate shall i carry your tea for you if you don't mind yeah i'll put this on charge this is the shop down here you can't see it but it's not been it's going to be a restaurant but it's not it's not done yet obviously right, i'll take that and that we're going to go upstairs and we've got loads of second fixing to do. We've laid out all the bits already. Da -da -da. <sighs> we had to retrofit the nest heat in because it was missed off the drawing by the architect. Uh, yeah, we've got loads of second fixing. Obviously, we've got no lights in. Look, the plaster just chucked them up, plastered over our holes because they boarded this ceiling, so he didn't even leave us a thing. So I've got to go up in the ceiling and um, I've got to go up in the ceiling and poke all these down. We've got lots of second fixing to do. I've also got to finish um, the fuse board in here at some point, which isn't finished yet. And there's the nest. Managed to fish up the wall, fish the thermostat cable up the wall where these cables came through in this stud partition. The only thing we had to do was put a little tiny bit of trunk in, in the corner there, which you can't see. And then this will just plug in with a three amp fuse into that spare socket there. Um, we've got the other flat next door working, so we know it all works. So yeah, we're gonna crack on with some second fixing. <laughs> right, this is, they're gonna rip this shop front out here. That, that shop front there. New doorways come in here there that's the old intake which is now going to be gone this is a new staircase they put in which you can't see it's too dark electricians haven't been in yet um first fix is done a uh, new boiler fuse boards going in there which i'm going to do today and james is going to go around and start second fixing everything so this is a this will be a nice open plan kitchen diner living room area bathroom and a bedroom. So we're all ready to go. 
Plaster has tucked all our cables up, so I'll have to go in the loft today, James. Poke them all down again, yeah? And then we can we can start second fixing everything. Right, and as if by magic, a click of our fingers, all the holes have reappeared in the ceiling. Look, smoke detector. That's gonna be a multi, because we got kitchenette, and that's a heat multi and an optical multi. We've got one light, one light. Oh, there might be another one in here, James. In here, what do you reckon? Three. One's a smoke, isn't it? And two lights. I think that's what we did, didn't we? And that is where the ch the um, plasterer plastered over the hole and the builder didn't know where he put it, so he drilled an hole, but obviously plasterboard, so he had to find the hatch because they just plastered straight over the hatch. Um, we've done the bedroom, we've done the bathroom, we've got a four inch hole to cut in there, four inch hole to cut in there for the fans. And then we got the, the bedroom done. Two smokes, because you've got this beam. Stupid, I know, but that's the rules. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight uh, spotlights in here. So we'll leave you with James on a time lapse because he's going to second fix the lights. Right, time lapse is off. You've just seen us chucking these up. We've drilled all the lights out. We only had one mess up, which was here, look. One little hole there to fill, no big deal. And then you've seen all this insulation, so horrible chipping stuff that keeps falling out on us. But once we've um, done all the lights, we'll then sweep this up, or James will. I've then got to put a grid on here. So we've got three lights, then have a normal switch, one, two, three above the kitchenette. And then we've got a dimmer switch here. It's going to do the rest. What's 10 in it, James? Three, six, nine, ten lights. That one there is a multi heat that I told you about. So, the grid system that we've got is the only one we can get a short notice. It's a BG dimmer with a grid and a front plate and a single switch tried to boil the kettle and it wouldn't work and we realized that the whole street has now got a power cut so i've just done a little video on this which you would have just seen uh making this little grid dimmer off which looks pretty smart one to do those as i said and the dimmer will do the, the other 10 lights uh i'm just going to crack on with making the rest of these switches off and james is going to get on with the spotlights so one thing um the builder did when we boxed up you didn't tell me he was going to bring this forward 40 or 50 mil look so what we got you could make that off it's a little bit rough um and leave the screws long a bit rough because you've obviously got all this open cavity if you like so i've got some skeleton boxes literally they go over these cables cut that out and it brings that box that much forward look obviously it'll sit flush um, I'll do it and then I'll show you after but it's, it's a much nicer finish than just leaving it as um, a little bit rough like that and also gives you the protection with a box all the way into the wall here. Yeah? Well you just see me doing that look I sport that box lovely and flush with a plasterboard look um, and it covers up the hole that I cut look so all in all, it's a good idea to fit skeleton boxes. I've just seen a little video I've put on for you of that skeleton box and socket. It gives you a bit of an insight. It is for TikTok, but at least you get to see me do it. I've put a single socket in there for the dishwasher to plug into, okay? Um, and now I've got the task of, this was the only place we could put the oven and electric hob. So we've got a six mil. Look, we've got a six mil for the hob in and out. And then we've got, uh, the oven is on the ring. Um, we'll put a, a spur for that. We've got a 45 amp oven switch for that. Uh, oven switch for the hob, because it's on a six mil, 32. And then we need to get this out, James. James, have you done the light yet? Yeah. Jeez, it's taken ages. <laughs> we'll pull that out and then there's two flex outlets behind there which we'll show you in a minute. This is the, this is the place where the, he 
drilled the cables and luckily it was long enough, do you remember, to bring it back through. So we just got to put a, a, flex, a regular flex outlet on there for the oven. There's the hob, which goes into that one, which is a 45 amp cooker outlet. Uh, yeah, not very exciting. Well, I'm not sure where we got to, but we've second fixed in this room. We just got one USB socket to put on over there. 50 mil screws to go on these because they don't reach. James is doing me a little cheeky fan isolator. I'm just going to dig out these and the lights in the bathroom. I've got to drill a four inch hole for the grill. Uh, I'm going to do these two lights and this ex uh, extractor um, smoke alarm in the corridor. Oh, we're ready to go. I've drilled out all these uh, lights ready for tomorrow. Two smoke alarms because we've got a beam over 300. Gone for the ACOS uh, 10 year lithium battery. Interlinked with a three core on earth. Um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Pole potentially, if I want to film this somehow. The pole, the pole of goodness. Let's put the light on a minute. So what we did, we flushed these boards in. Look, um, we got our SWA glanded in, all fire grommeted in, ready to go. So I might make that off, mate. And we'll set you up doing sockets and switches, yeah? And then I'll go in the loft. Right, James is whacking some sockets on, isn't you, James? Well, yeah, and we got some fly lead here. Look, a bit of one mil, 1.5 mil singles. We've got a switch to go on there, dimmer, okay? A couple of USB. And I've set a light up and my pole, the old poly, to go in here to get the angles for the consumer unit. So yeah, I just stopped the video because then um, we've had a delivery. We're not us, but the the builder and um, the delivery lorry has just crashed into the little red Mazda. Look, stove the whole front end. So they're out there now arguing. Yeah, crack on.
back. Next day. Next day. This is the last day I'm filming on this job. So, I've just found in the ceiling the spotlight and the smoke. I managed to get it roughly 300 away. You've got to get these 300 away. Um, but there's a horrible big beam up here. The, the builder did drop the ceiling for us. Look, I managed to find that. I've got some switches to second fix. I've just done this one, look, and the way it goes, the way it goes costs more than the switch, look. Three, five way way goes, because we've got the feed in, feed out, the fan feed, and the, um, the feed to the shaver socket in the bathroom here. Shaver socket feed. Uh, as I said, we went for some lights, but the client hasn't decided what colour they're going for yet, look, so we can't put the lights up yet. But we've done the spots. I've got to get the four inch cutter out of the van to drill out the duct for that. James is just doing some, some sockets um, in his natural habitat on the floor. Yeah. Um, yeah, what else can I show you? I've got to order some bits for this board. Um, you'd have seen the time lapse, but look, I've run out of bits. I've got to get an SPD kit and about five breakers, I think, but um, it's not going too bad. And then we've retrofitted that nest, which you saw, and you can see the trunk in it, but up look, in the corner. I managed to do the spot. It's got a carbon monoxide detector, and for some reason the architect wanted a fan. So I've got to cut another four inch grill in here, which I'll do today, hopefully. Oh, it's light. So I just have to bail that uh, cable out there. Um, and what I've done now is double sleeve it. I, I put another brown on it, because that shows me that's switch wire now. That goes up goes to there and then loops to that where they're gonna have like a chandelier above the staircase. Um, and what we've got here is a feed in, a feed out, a two way, which will do two way down the bottom of the corridor. So you come up, it will switch that light, that light on and off. You can switch it on and off from here then when you're at the top of the stairs. And then you've also got a feed, uh, this one here that goes downstairs and takes a feed to that switch because they got a light it's not built yet, there's going to have a door going out to the street there, but they're going to have a light down there. So it'll be a two gang switch, one to switch that. And we also put a three core in just in case they want emergency light. So that's what we put one down there. And then obviously that's a smoke alarm for the top. And then there's also, didn't show it on the drawings, but we wired it, end of line smoke detectors down there. Oh, I've had a quick clean up. James was happy. Look, Dave the Builder bought cakes. Um, James has done this room. He's done the dimmer, done all the spots. We've got to shoot off now to do some pat testing and old forge. So if we can get some footage, we will. Guys, don't forget to use code PRYS10 at checkout on the Rexile website. You get yourself £10 off premium cable. Awesome cable. And I can't stress how easy the click and collect service was at Rexile. Great bunch of guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.